All right, so for the quiz review, now remember we're not, uh, we're, we're not doing the acid basis stuff, the neutralization reactions, the other things that we've practiced, uh, naming of acids, bases. Uh, it's just going to be on balancing. So this worksheet right here, it's going to be a very similar, um, very similar format to our quiz tomorrow. Uh, let me shut the door. Hold on. Okay, so uh, first one, now we're balancing. So if you're still at the point where you have to write down every single one of these, so you separate that into the uh, products and the reactants and counting, you know, you really need to try to get past that a little bit and just kind of jump in and look back and forth. Two ALs and two ALs, good. Three carbons, because remember, I want to try to leave oxygen for last. So right here gives me three carbons. That gives me six plus three is nine oxygens, nine oxygens, and I'm balanced. Uh, that's why I say you should be able to get past that. So I'm going to kind of move ahead kind of quickly here. Three mercuries, but that gives me three sulfurs. So three sulfurs, that gives me three calcium, three calciums. There's a point where phosphate is a polyatomic ion, stays the same. So we have two on both sides. Again, balanced. Uh, a two there balances the I's. A three there balances the chlorines. Uh, looks like if I go with three there for the hydroxides, it gives me three lithiums, which gives me three bromines. And once again, I'm balanced. Um, looks like uh, two there will balance the O's. A two here will balance the MG's. And the two will balance the iodines. Now, I did tell you to keep oxygen for last whenever possible, but you can see it was beneficial to start with it there. Uh, and the more of these you do, the more you start to recognize those things. Like I'm going to see here that uh, my best place to start would be with three sulfates. That gives me three calciums, which gives me six chlorines. And then the two ALs will balance. Um, two hydrogens gives me two lithiums, two chlorines balanced. And the last one here uh, looks like a two there will balance the nitrates, two will balance the magnesiums, and the oxygens, and one titanium. So we are finished with that section. Again, practice, practice, practice. That's the only way you're going to get better at this. Watching me do it and watching me do it isn't going to help. All right, mercury two iodate. So we need our polyatomic ion list. Iodate is IO3 minus one. Aluminum. Phosphate, plus three, minus three. Aluminum iodate, plus three, minus one, and mercury two phosphate, that. All right, so that has to start to become second nature, particularly for the next test when we start predicting products. You've got to know where those charges are coming from. It has to be easy for you to find them. So it doesn't take you, you know, 15 minutes to do one. Uh, you know, you got to get that down, get it down, and get it down to less time and less time. Otherwise, you know, this is going to start to become a bit overwhelming. All right, so I'm going to start with mercury. Uh, I'm going to put a 3 there to balance the HGs. That means I need a 2 there to balance the IO3s. That gives me 2 ALs, 2 ALs, and then that phosphate is balanced. Uh, BAOH parentheses 2. Remember the parentheses around hydroxide. Common mistake to forget those parentheses. BAO. H2O for water. So there's uh, the correct formulas, uh, and it's already balanced. Ni2O3, calcium chloride, calcium oxide, nickel 3 chloride. Uh, remember, charges plus 2 minus, or plus 3 minus 2, plus 2 minus 1, plus 2 minus 2, plus 3 minus 1. If you're having a hard time balancing any of these, you probably have a formula written wrong because these should be that easy to balance. All right, so nitrogen, our first of the Hofbrinkel elements. Remember, elements by themselves are called free elements. Free elements have a charge of zero. So nitrogen here uh, is a zero charge. Uh, but it is one of the Hofbrinkel elements, which means it's diatonic. Hydrogen chloride, that is HCl, yields hydronitric acid. So we are going to have to know how to write those formulas. So not specifically a separate question, but you know, we've been practicing those now. And so you should be able to know that hydro means no oxygens. So it's binary, minus three plus one. The acid tells us it is, you know, starting with an H. Chlorine, Cl, but it is one of the seven Hofbrinkel elements, diatomics. Uh, looking at this one, I'm going to put a two there. Uh, nope, that ain't going to work. See, I know that's not going to work because then I put a, a uh, oh, actually it does, 6 here. So 6 H's, 6 H's, 2, two N's, 2 N's. That gives me 6 CL's and 6 CL's. Antimony, SB. Not a Hofbrinkel. Chlorine is, though. 
And then the tri tells us that we have a molecule, so we're not going to use charges, but instead the tri tells us how many. So antimony um, trichloride is going to be SbCl3. Remember, mono is left off the first element. If that was diantimony or tri, then we would know how many. But the fact that it just says antimony means it's mono. Uh, so then a 2 there, a 3 there, and a 2 there balances it. Uh, C3H7OH. We don't know how to name that. That's an organic alcohol. Oxygen, though, is a diatomic O2. CO2, H2O. Uh, dioxide, again, prefixes water. We know water, H2O. All right, um, now we need to balance this. So I'm going to place a 3 here to get the carbons balanced. Now I have eight hydrogens, so seven plus one. They do count uh, on the left side, so I would add those together. So that means I'm going to need a four there to get eight hydrogens. Now over here I have six plus four is ten. I already have one here, so I need nine more there. So you could balance this with a four and a half. Now, like I said uh, previous to that, if you don't like halves, you just double everything. So start, go back to where you started. So I'm going to uh, erase this for those that don't like halves. If you like halves, go right on to the next one. You're okay. If you don't want to do halves, the first thing I balanced, remember, was carbon. So I'm going to start with a 2 there, and that gives me 6 carbon. So now I have a 6 there. Now 7 plus 1 is 8 times 2 is 16. So I need an 8 there. Now that gives me 12 plus 8 is 20. I already have 2 here. So I need 18 more, and that gives me 20. So if you don't catch that, watch that a few times. Listen to what I said, and I think you'll, uh, I think you'll get it. All right, lithium oxide, plus 1, minus 2. Lithium is free element, not a Hofbrinkle, but oxygen is. Uh, so a 2 there and a 4 there balances. Ammonia. Ammonia is a substance that we have produced in lab. I think you should know the formula for ammonia now. Uh, and we have hydrogen chloride, hydrochloric acid. You could also name that as, and then it makes ammonium chloride, and that is already balanced. Calcium metal. Remember, don't get confused by things like metal or gas. Uh, it's just telling you the state of matter. So Ca plus um, lead is lead 4 sulfate. I'm going to write that one down here because I'm going to have to fix that. Lead 4 sulfate. See, I would have a 2 and a 4, which is going to be reduced to that. So plus 4 minus 2, we get a 2 and a 4, so we reduce it and we end up with that formula. Calcium, sulfate, and lead. Uh, so it looks like a 2 there balances the sulfates, a 2 there balances the calciums. Uh, so there it is. Uh, you have plenty of these to practice. Go back and look at those worksheets. I have the answers to the worksheets on the website now with the uh, uh, blank sheets. So you can get, print the blank one. You can try some of them, check your answers, uh, whatever you need. Um, make sure you're prepared.